The ammunition you choose is a crucial part of any Terraria Ranger playthrough, giving you the ability to completely transform the way your projectiles fire and interact with enemies. For bullet firing weapons at least, most players tend to stick to popular options such as high velocity, crystal and chlorophyte bullets, as they're relatively easy to obtain and all enhance your offensive capabilities in some way. Today, we're going to be looking at three other bullet types that I hardly see anyone else talk about due to their obscurity and inferiority to the other ammunitions mentioned. The question is, could it be that these armor types do actually offer some great functionality, or are they fully deserving of their unpopularity? Before we jump into it though, if you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe as it can truly help out the channel. Okay then, let's dive into this shall we? To start us off for the day, we have the Party Bullets. Now, these are an interesting one, as despite their undeniably quirky implementation, they can be unironically one of the best bullet types in the game due to their obtainability. You see, while you can craft them in hard mode by purchasing empty bullets from your arms dealer and then confetti from your party girl, we can also obtain them in pre-hard mode by purchasing a pig granata from your party girl while there's a party on. Upon smashing this, you'll have about an 11% chance of getting a handful of party bullets before they're technically craftable. And when it comes to their actual performance, well, aside from having a base damage of 10 higher than any other pre hardwood bullet, the bullets have no other real special properties other than the confetti visual effect. Still pretty neat looking though, and I guess if you do take the pig granata route, you can rest easy knowing you've got not only the most lethal pre hard mode bullets, but also the most humiliating against your enemies. Moving on, next up we have golden bullets. Now these are pretty self explanatory, simply having no other special effects other than inflicting the Midas debuff on enemies, resulting in them dropping more gold. When it comes to their crafting recipe, all you need is a bunch of empty bullets and gold dust from your merchant and you're good to go. The funny thing about this is, to actually turn a profit on the money spent to craft them, you're probably best using a gun like the TAC shotgun, as each projectile release can inflict the Midas debuff, despite it only costing you one bullet per shot. And when it comes to the actual benefits of this bullet, it's exactly the same as the melee alternative, the Golden Flask, causing enemies to drop 10-50% to more coins when killed. This can be a fantastic option for large farming operations such as this, greatly improving your hourly turnover without changing your whole farming technique. And with that in mind, last up, we have the one and only Nano Bullets. Out of all the ammo types discussed today, these are probably the hardest to come to a conclusion on, as although they have so many fantastic uses, I still can't get over the fact chlorophyte bullets exist, which I just think from an ease point of view is just better. However, crafting wise, their accessibility is a bit better, requiring empty bullets and nanites from your cyborg which can be bought in bulk for cheap. In use, nano bullets are essentially a homing version of meteor bullets with an additional confused debuff. The thing that always puts me off these though, is how bad that bounce homing is. Although on paper it sounds awesome, more often than not these things will just miss, which is so disappointing when chlorophyte exists and does it perfectly. But I guess that's all part of the balance, as the inflicted confusion can be quite handy in places like the post Monterra dungeon. But other than that, there's so many enemies that are immune to this debuff, it's usually the mediocre homing you're relying on. Saying that though, in practice, I still found Nana Bullets more than capable at taking out bosses and dealing with events like the Solar Eclipse. So yeah, all in all, I believe each of these bullets definitely have their uses, offering the player a choice of offense and utility throughout the game. Party bullets are fantastic if you're able to get your hands on some in free hard mode, golden bullets can help you get the menacing or warding reforges, and nano bullets can be a great choice for farming your post Monterra dungeon. I'd love to hear down below if you're someone who always uses these more obscure bullets, and if not, why not give them a try in your next playthrough? This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.